This season marks an end to financial difficulties in your life. This season is a new season and dawn for you. Help would come from the east, west, north and south. Remember the psalmist in Psalm 23. Declare that he is our shepherd and he would not permit you to go without help. Understand that heaven is backing you and the assistance you seek for, angels would appear like men to clear your financial burden for you. You will look back and be surprised at what happened. It does not matter how big or small the amount is, financial help would come your way today. Do you remember the story of the wife of the prophet to who God used prophet Elisha to channel financial help? Her children were sold to slavery since their father was indebted and dead. Financial help came her way and the debt was settled. God is not incapacitated. That financial burden troubling you would be handled easily by Him when Jesus and His disciples were walking in Jerusalem. Tax collectors demanded tax. He was not afraid or perplexed. He told Peter to go to the sea and the first fish he catches, he should open its mouth and the amount needed for the tax would be found. And that was exactly what happened. He is a limitless God. Where you thought hope has failed, bring God into it and you will be amazed at how help would come in your way. When He has said He has given His angels charge over you, it is not for your safety alone. It is also to meet any need, burden, or want that arises, finance included, and today, I speak to you as He has said that for every financial issue in your life, help will come your way and the need shall be addressed. With God on your side, nothing remains a burden. He is God and in control of every resource. Help shall come your way and settle every need in your life. When He steps in, He will not only provide help for that particular financial need, He will position you to become a giver of help to others. Imagine a widow who had only a meal left for her and her son, but when the sent man from God came, they had an abundant supply. This is the season you have stepped into. It is the season of help and restoration. It is the season of amazing blessings. The Almighty God who is in charge of all resources is rolling them out for your good and you would never lack again. Like Abraham, you will become a channel of financial help to nations and kingdoms. The help you seek from God will come your way today. Unexpected people shall come up at your home and premises with the very amount you need and with the promise of further help. Good finance is one of the essential things you will need to have an easy life. The reason why you work and struggle to make ends meet is to be financially buoyant. Sometimes you may lack financial buoyancy. You might be experiencing lack right now and you are incapable of providing for even your basic need. In a situation like this, you will require or need financial help or assistance. Finance is one of the key principles to achieving success in the world today. You would need to achieve some goals to attain success, and those goals are achieved easily with adequate financing or funding. Your business might not get to that point of growth that you desire without financial help. Most times, when we lack funds, we go to people who are financially buoyant to seek and beg for financial help, and we forget to go to the all-sufficient God who is not limited by the size of the financial help we need. Yes, your pockets, purse, or wallet may be empty right now. Your account balance may be very low or even empty. You are not sure whether you will have your next meal. You may lack the finances to support your family or business. You may be going through a financial crisis, but you must know this true fact. You will receive financial help from God. You will receive it today. You may not have a single penny on you. If only you will ask God for help, He will help you. The help that God can give you is limitless. At a time like this, you are to ask God for financial help. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. From this passage, you can see that whatever you ask God for, you shall receive. If you ask God for financial help, you will surely receive it. 
The financial help that God can give you is not limited by the size of your needs or the size of your financial problems. God is an all-sufficient God and He will grant you financial help and financial assistance today. If God makes a promise, He will fulfill it. He never goes back on His promise that He meets it. When you ask God for financial help, He will not just help you, but He will help you exceedingly, abundantly, and above your imagination. So today, expect God to grant you exceeding and abundant financial help. As established, the way to receive financial help is by asking God for it. The way you can ask God for this financial help is through prayer. Prayer is talking to God. You will talk to God like you would talk to your earthly father because God is your father. And because of this fatherly love, He will not let you be in need or lack and do nothing. So it is in this place of prayer that you would tell Him what you are going through and how you lack finances for different projects in your life. God does not necessarily need to rain money from the sky as He did for the manna or the Israelites. To help you financially, He works and grants you financial help in many ways. You could just be going out today and someone would offer you a free ride or a monetary gift. These are some of the ways God can grant you financial help and assistance today. So expect it and you shall receive it. There is nothing wrong in asking God for financial help or in seeking financial assistance. Do not go to men for financial help. When you are in need and you go to men, they will disappoint you or humiliate you. Going to men will not assure you of anything. Besides, when men give you something, there is always a price attached to it. But when God gives something, He gives you everything you want freely. This you will find in Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Whatever you ask of God, you are assured that you will receive it. As long as you have asked Him for it, you will surely receive it from Him. In conclusion, when you receive that financial help and assistance from God today, remember to appreciate Him. Never forget to be grateful to God. Do not be like the nine lepers who forgot to thank Jesus for their healing. Your financial help is coming today, so make sure you give thanks for it today. God will not disappoint you. You will no longer lack today as you will receive financial help from God.